Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Le Plata. And as we know everyone, there is a big gigantic war going on between Germany, actually I'm just showing you the sides because it's much quicker this way. Germany, France, Soviet Union, and the United Kingdom. And of course Italy was in it too, but they're kind of dead. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I thought... And I'll be honest with you people, I thought this war was going to be way, way shorter and it was going to be a very, very easy, like, war to the side. Like, I was thinking instantly, like, oh man, the Soviet Union is so dead. I mean, if you have both France, France, that's France, that's, some people in Germany might get mad at me for that, but this is France, I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, France and Germany, those two guys together, and of course Scandinavia, but Scandinavia is just Scandinavia, and... These two guys mostly together, the two strongest land powers in the entire game, usually. Usually, I would say, generally speaking, they're the strongest powers. Defeat, bashing up against the Soviet Union and bashing up against the United Kingdom. I thought this was a no contest. They were going to lose. But, surprised to say, I looked over at the ledger last, I remember, it was either last episode or maybe it was off screen. I don't remember, but um, it turns out that actually the United Kingdom, Kingdom and the Soviet Union have about 200 more brigades than the French and the Germans do. And that's even at max. So, what that's basically telling me is that this is going to be a way closer battle than what I'm observing. Like, I, I believe that this is going to be a battle where we won't honestly know who's going to win. Like, we won't know if the Germans are going to win or the Soviets are going to win. I mean, as you guys can see, the Germans made a major push back in the day where they were all the way up to the city of Moskov. Where's Moskov? Where the hell is Moskov? Uh, there it is. Found it. Right here. They were right there. And look how far they've been pushed back. And, you know, if the, if the Russians can push the Germans all the way back into the lines, can the Germans be able to hold this front right here against the Russians and the combined forces of the British? Because the British have all their forces. I'm just thinking of this because I don't actually know. But the British probably have all their forces sending them in over here from India. And most of the troops do come from India. So this is like the most advanced, like the biggest advantage they have right now. So, yeah. This is a big war, and what we have to do is take advantage of it. So, what we have to think of is we have to think of a good person we can attack that has been, you know, basically untouchable until this point. Who has been untouchable, unmanageable, and unable to declare war on because they have been inspired by another nation? And you know what nation I decide on? But it was Brazil. Because I highly doubt the French are going to join in to try to fight me and try to save the Brazilian allies. So, we're going to go after Brazil, because Brazil is obviously the correct choice in the matter, because, well, let's be real here, we, we can honestly can culture convert most of these entire provinces. So, whatever we take from their land is going to benefit us. A lot. Like, a lot, a lot. So, we're just going to take everything. <laughs> That's how that works. And, um, with that, I believe that covers, wait, let me just also make sure there's no oil in Brazil. I'm pretty sure there's no oil in Brazil because we have a little oil down here, but I'm just making sure, I'm just making sure, people. And with that, let's begin. <laughs> it was a little bit longer intro than usual, and apparently we have uh, voting right. People want stuff. Trickle it, sub trickle it, safety. Trickle it, safety. Uh, subsidies, I don't think, no, no, we want trickle it, safety, so minimal safety, is that what you guys want? Minimal safety? I, I mean, I, there is no option to give you guys tricklet safety, but I'm pretty sure you guys mean minimal. No, you guys mean tricklet. Oh, well, I don't know what the heck that is. I <laughs> uh, wish I could tell you, but I honestly don't know. So, anyways, by the way, let's see, who are we encouraging right now to become part of our sphere? Oh, yeah, Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia is going to become one of our bros. Because you know what? Why not have a little bit of a European basis? And because they are really powerful in terms of like industry and military. So why don't we use both of them to become a little bit more buddy buddy with. Oh, come! Hmm. You know, as soon as I start fabricating claims, they end the war. And. Yeah! <laughs> wow. So. What does that mean for the rest of the world? 
Does that mean okay? Yeah. Hey everyone, the British just lost all the colonial provinces. Oh no. Oh wow. The Melee Federation, that usually never happens in any of my games. Wow. Uh, wow, this is like becoming a totally different timeline. So the British just lost the First World War, and that actually scares me to the point where I probably should stop what I was doing, my little sneaky tactic here. And wow. Well, since I can't get that sneaky tactic, so let's go back to war with the Qing Empire, because that worked out so well the first time. Yeah, you guys don't get good relationship with me. After you guys you know, made me have to declare war on you and do all this kind of weird stuff to get you guys defeated. Yeah, I'm not exactly happy with you. So, we're going to destroy you guys slowly but surely. Alright? And, yeah, that was... Wow. So, we're going to soon see all this land over here, the British, be divvied up. All these colonial provinces, and maybe even India, too. That'd be very interesting to see India divvied up amongst, you know, European powers. Oh, the first list out ball! Yeah! Take that, Europe! Yeah! I got the first to South Pole! Me as the mighty nation of Le Plata! Made to the South Pole before you! What up? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we have... Lose ammunition or make poor mad at us. Lose ammunition. I don't want to make poor mad at us ever. We're making a lot of money, but every time I say that, and every time I'm thinking, you know, maybe we should decrease taxes, this usually turns out bad for us. But I'll try it again. I'll, I'll be, try to be a good dictator and try to decrease taxes because, I mean, we really, at this point in the game, there's really not much point to have taxes. <laughs> I mean, I'll be, I'll be real here. There's not much point. I mean, we have literally $7.5 billion. I mean, we don't even know what to spend most of that money on. I mean, we, we seriously don't know. We just kind of, like, look around and be like, okay, can we upgrade this? Okay, we can upgrade that. Now that what we do. Uh, I, I don't quite know. Oh, look, we can upgrade our naval bases again! Huzzah! Okay, I'll be right back. Oops, I forgot to start recording before I went to the next day. Uh, don't worry, people, you missed nothing. All we did was just, like, literally, I just stopped it and was like, Okay, time to do next day, yay! And we're going to increase our relationship with not the Qing, because we don't like the Qing, but with Yugoslavia. And add to Sphere, yes! So now Yugoslavia is officially part of our influence, which means now we'll be able to see what Europe looks like over there. Yay! Yeah, look at all that. And you know what? We should probably add the uh, Romanian Empire, too. You know, having... Let's just, you know, since we have the opportunity, let's just keep adding as many Balkan... Oh my goodness. This is a terrible... What are you doing, Netherlands? That's a terrible idea. Oh my goodness. That's like... They're going up against two of the biggest land powers in the entire game, and they're thinking that they can win. Oh my goodness, Turkey, I feel so bad for you right now. You guys are going to get crushed. Uh, okay. Um, but yeah. Let's see, get infiltration. Now we can start building tanks, maybe, because, I don't know, it's usually a very flippy floppity kind of thing if I actually ever get to build tanks in this game. I mean, seriously. Also, we can apparently build more soldiers, so let's start... Let's start building our next unit. One, two. And let's see, we can build honestly a lot more of these guys. Okay, let's see. We could probably start shipping some of these guys over. Ooh, let's get the rest of the cannons built in the provinces I can't build them in first. And now let's. Oh, wait, wait. Now let's get the uh, Hussiers. Because the Hussiers are more not that special, so we don't have to do too much. Okay. And there we go, new army. Let's see, you guys are already a built-up army, so you guys move. And there we go. Yeah, we have to keep building up our army, because apparently all the other European powers are like, Yes, we have to keep building up armies. Hmm. And I'm like, well, there's not really much point to me building up an army. I mean, like, I kind of, holy moly, we have lots of rebel lolies. That was unintentional, people. And yeah, I probably should crush those guys. Oh my goodness, Wow. Wow, okay, do I have enough time to reach? Please, rejoice! Yes, everyone, rejoice! Oh, wow. Yes, everyone, go save the Venezuelans. We don't want the Venezuelans to die yet. Like, seriously, everyone go and go... Oh, no! Save your capital! If you don't save your capital, Venezuela, you won't be you won't be a state of mind. And you may not find that very, very good thing. But trust me, it's a very bad thing, because if you don't become a state of mind, that means I'm going to attack you, and we're going to have difficulties. Trust me. 
It's actually way worse than it is to be like dip an enemy of me than be a friend with me. Okay. But anyway, Ecuador and Venezuela revolting. Like I said, Ecuador, I would not mind if they revolted because I do want to add them eventually to my puppets. I do want to add them to my, my puppets over here. That way I have everything because it kind of does annoy me that I have like one piece of land that's just like right there. But yeah. Okay. Um, we will do the best. Yes, we will do the best we can. Don't worry. I am sending an army slowly but surely up to your positions. Trust me, I'm not letting you guys go that easily. <laughs> Trust me, I, <laughs> I'm definitely not letting you guys go that easily. Communist Party rocked by scandal. Yay! Even though, even though my court is probably... Oh look, the conservatives finally took power again. That's good. That's really good actually because we didn't... We really don't want... Well honestly, we don't want all these like mixy mushy other parties in power and they just like corrupt everything. Alright, I'm sending my men to go slowly overseas. Man, it feels like I can almost go like seas wise quicker than going land wise. I mean, I know it takes a while to walk through the Amazon rainforest, but could we not just build good interstates over here? I mean, I, I do have a lot of money. I mean, it's definitely not a it's definitely not a problem with money for me. Trust me, we, we have a lot of money. So, if you guys ever need stuff, just tell me and I'll give it to you. By the way, apparently Netherlands, are you guys actually winning? Because I'd be really, I, I would be almost ecstatically shocked. Uh, we can't, uh, sadly, we can't let you guys go. As much as we would have liked to, you guys are kind of our puppets for life. And if I had known you guys were of that, oh wait, yeah, we have to get our troops out of position. If I had known you guys were this violent with each other, Maybe I would have kept the soldiers much nearer. Uh, rebellion in our ally. Uh, yeah, again, cut down the size. Ah, uh, they're not worth it. And the reason why I said that is they're not worth it is because now I'm going to justify a sphere. Oh man, this is terrible. But wait, do I already? By the way, do I already have my Cosbella against China? Hopefully, China didn't industrialize yet. China has not industrialized yet, so there should be. Hmm. Truce with China. Oh, how long is that truce still? Uh, next year. Okay. Hopefully, I'll still have my cousin Bella against them. But in the meantime, we'll go to war with these, you know, people that think that they can break away from me and think that they're all high and mighty or something. Yes, please integrate these people. I really want as many people integrated into my society as possible. Also, make sure you guys are slowly culture converting to me. Cause that's the really best thing ever. Everyone that's all my allies, you will all join when we add this world. Damn. Am I breaking a truce? Yes. Yeah, okay. When does truce until 1914? Oh, man. Okay, so apparently the developers put in a uh, protective place where they actually made it so that I couldn't actually declare war yet. Well, that kind of stinks. So when does my... Uh, I hope my Cosbelli doesn't win out. Otherwise, that was completely pointless. And... Over here, whoa! Oh my goodness, an independent Indian state! Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I have to take advantage of this. This is like... Okay, this usually never happens in almost any game I've ever played. Usually no Indian state ever becomes free of the British control, okay? Like, never. None. I've never seen it usually happen. Okay, do I have any ships? I do. Okay. Go pick up this army. We're going to go send this army to go destroy India's... <laughs> well, casually go conquer India. And then we will uh, continue our conquests and more invasions and yada, yada, yada. Yeah, because this is... I'm not even joking, people. I barely see this ever happen. Like, this is a... This is a pretty big deal. And, I mean, 8 million people that could instantly be added to our population. Giving us more taxes. Probably more stuff to deal with, not going to deny. But more taxes... Oh man, and stay and sticking it to the British is also a good thing for me too. And let's see, what do we need? Da, 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 da. We've already maxed out that. Probably should work on industry because we really need to get that up and running. And allow annexation. Okay, and before you have any friends to call on, I'm just going to get this already in there. And everyone else that wants to join in, yes, let everyone of everyone I know join into this. Traderless Italy, Chile, everyone, yay! 
everyone that wanted to join in joined in. Huzzah! And these steamers should not die because I have pretty good ports now. Well, pretty good, like, naval bases. Yeah. So, that should be good. And apparently I'm influencing Romania to be a part of my sphere. Exactly what I wanted to happen. And Romania should hate me less and less as we get poor. They're all communists. <sighs> They're all communists. That makes me... Kinda sad, but... There's not really much I can do, because they're all communists. Now, hopefully, 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 hopefully some of these new factories will start building what I want them to build, which is a high production tank value. By the way, let's start building up the army again. Um, yes, build the Boreos. Um, by the way, I also had an army back in Africa. Does that mean I have to... Let's see, what is it composed of? Ooh. I mostly got, okay, so I mostly got the troops movement done with, okay, so, cannons wise, yeah, build like another cannon in Africa, there we go, back over here in my land of, future land of, Katana Madras. oh wow, you know, I would be scared about all this, but they're uncivilized nations, and they don't have gas attacks, so, is everyone ready for a massive slaughter? Yay! That's what the answer I wanted to hear. So as we slowly slaughter every single one of these guys, please remember this is the most humane way we could have done this. He says with a, with a very grinning look and an evil twisting face and twirling his mustache. Because I imagine everyone that does this has a twirling mustache. Oh my goodness. I'm going to stop right there. I feel like if I, make, if I keep talking, I'm going to make this more, way worse on myself. Okay, you guys go right there. Oh my goodness, and we're going to get nice ports too. British upgraded ports. Man, this is going to be the nicest. You know, we could actually, we could actually do is actually we could free India, then maybe like try to free, hmm. I kind of like that idea too, it's just kind of, uh, this, uh, not enough. Gain humiliate. I don't really care. You know what? Austria can do whatever they want because, uh, I don't really care. But I'm glad. I'm glad you became a communist. <laughs> you know, I really shouldn't judge. I was a communist nation once. So, well, actually, I was a socialist nation. We never, in an alternate timeline, we became communist, but we never actually became communist. But I really shouldn't judge because I, I felt the same way they felt. I felt that sometimes we do need a stronger grasp on our, on our military. And as you guys can see, we're going to just slaughter these guys. They have absolutely no hope of defeating me like one army I'm just gonna send in 36 K and we're just gonna slaughter their entire army I mean if these guys were civilized they might have a chance oh wow that's big rebel group too okay and hopefully oh there's America what the heck America did you guys just come hold the way <laughs> okay everyone so everyone we have America over here helping us out in India this seems legit. Like this, this seems like this should be happen now. Okay, thank you, thank you, America, because America watches out for other America, and other America watches out for this America. We Americas, we help out each other. Yeah, it's like a major, it's like a major like, um, what's the word called? Bromance. Yeah, me and America having a total bromance. All right, let's see, Manchuria. Uh, should I defeat the rebels? Nah, if America wants to go kill those rebels, they can. I'm just gonna chill out and do nothing. Alright, just keep... Electricity! Yes! Buzz, we need to get those electricity going! Alright, let's get over here. And... Oh, wow, the British... Uh, they're losing more. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, like I said, I probably knew this was gonna happen. But, I guess that's a good thing I already have a great economy to support it. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I I'm guessing it's because of education. Yeah, education shot right up. Yeah, but at least at the very least, I have Platine India. Which, you know what? Why not? Why not let's do this just because it'd be one of the funniest things in the world. Can we make it? No! What? We can't? Huh? Wait, why can't we... Wait, uh, we have to wait for it to update. 
Wait, why can't we make... Okay, they have the flag. Is somewhere else India already? Did somebody else claim the Indian flag? Because I would totally just love to make India right now and make this like one of the best videos ever where I have lower India underneath my control and we can start like feeding its cause slowly. Or maybe cause just massive rebels over here. Either one's fine with me, honestly. <laughs> oh man, and now look at this. We now got Platinans, only 25% of the actual culture, and now 25% is now Tamriel. A completely no unknown co Oh my goodness, all these other cultures took over pretty quickly. Oh my goodness, yeah. And let's see. Can we really not make it? Like, is it really not possible? We can make oil. Latina, Rio de Sol. Hmm. So we really can't make it. Well, I guess on a side note, what makes me, wait, what makes me more troops? Because this is really going to decide if I'm going to keep Africa as my colonial provinces. Africa seems much more beneficial to me. So, I'm going to keep both. Ah, <laughs> Yeah, that's how I work. America, what do you need help with? What's the war? America's fighting... Oh, wow, Italy. Ooh. Ooh. You guys being fascists. Okay, and America, you guys are fighting... Oh. Well, you know what? We can join in this. And with that, people, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been a great episode. Well... An episode, really, I just kind of mess around in. But anyways, it was still fun for me. <laughs> so I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys will come back and see more. See you guys. See what we guys see what happens in this next war. So I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.